Yo guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Fighters video. So, check it out. Master Roshi was just announced yesterday as being the next DLC character for Dragon Ball Fighters. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my predictions for how Master Roshi is going to play. Now, we're a very community-oriented channel here, so if you have any predictions of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about Master Roshi and how you think he's going to play. So if you saw the reveal, you can immediately tell that Master Roshi is coming straight out of Dragon Ball Super. And while I personally love this design, I think we will be getting color variations variations like we do with all the other characters, but the color variations will probably be little callbacks to his older costumes from Z as well as Dragon Ball, and we might even see a color variation that resembles Jackie Chun. Obviously, they're not going to put that whole entire character model in there, but I think it'll be dope if we get a color variation that references that. Now, we've only seen just a couple of seconds of Master Roshi's gameplay in the reveal trailer, and they didn't really give us much to go off of, but they did show us that he has a little bit of a cross-up attack. Now, some people are speculating that that's his medium auto combo. Regardless, I think it would be brilliant if they take inspiration not only from the anime, but from the manga. But all that aside, I think the gameplay for Master Roshi can go one of two ways. You see, in the Dragon Ball Super anime, he was really hands-on and very direct with a lot of his attacks. I don't think Master Roshi is going to be too, too beam focused. I think he'll have a couple of tricks up his sleeves with beams, but I think he's going to be very melee focused as well as being pretty good on mix-ups. And honestly, I really hope and I wouldn't be surprised if they went with Master Roshi having really high mobility. And the reason I say this is because if you read the manga, this dude is straight up dodging Jiren's attacks. Like, my man here literally confused Beerus into thinking that he achieved Ultra Instinct. And Whis had to step in and be like, nah, look man, it's similar, like he's really experienced, but don't worry Beerus, don't get your tail in a knot, it's not Ultra Instinct. Super Saiyan Blue couldn't even dodge Jiren's attacks. That's how much Master Roshi was moving, dipping, and dodging. So I hope, I really hope they don't just pull from the anime. As the trailer itself says, Master Roshi is a master of martial arts, making him a bit of a mix-up god as well as having some technicalities with some setups as far as his beams are concerned. I think it'd be cool if Master Roshi can go ahead and shoot out a little tiny orb that he can send out somewhere on the field, set it there, and then at any moment he can call it back to himself. Kind of like he did in the anime where Vegeta was accidentally trapped inside the jar from the Mafuba, so Master Roshi sends out a little bit of a blast called it back in order to break the jar. And obviously, you can't have Master Roshi in the game without giving this dude a level 3 where he gets buff and super swole and shoots out the iconic Kamehameha wave. Now, we talked about how I predict he's probably going to have a lot of mix-up potential. He might have some mobility, and I would love if he had some technicality to him, some setup tools. But as far as assists, he, there's no way you don't give this guy a beam assist. And if he does end up coming with at least that assist, I could definitely see that solidifying him in a lot of people's teams. Once again, let me know. How do you guys think he's gonna play? What kind of playstyle do you think they're gonna go for? More of a neutral kind of playstyle? More of a rushdown character, mix-up potential, or a setup character? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want some more Dragon Ball Fighters content, I got a bunch of videos on your screen now. If you haven't already done it, feel free to stick around for a while, pull up a seat, become part of a community that really is amazing. I hope to catch you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Stay safe. Thank you for watching.